Want to create a stunning WordPress website for free? In this video, I'll show you how step by step. Step 1. Sign up to WordPress.com. First, head over to WordPress and then click on Plans and Pricing. Now click on Start with our free plan. Now create an account with Google, Apple, GitHub, or an email address. If you already have a WordPress account, then simply log into your account. Step 2. Choose a domain for your website. Time to pick your website name. Just type in the name you want. As you can see, I tried this name, but it's not available for free. No worries, I can either grab a suggested name or try another one until I find the perfect match. Okay, I got this name for free, so now just click on Select Next to Free to get this domain. Click on Continue. Click on Start with Free. Choose one or more goals, and WordPress will customize your setup experience. Not sure? No problem, just hit skip to dashboard and dive right in. Step 3. Select a theme for your website. Now, it's time to pick a theme for your website. Not sure what a theme is? Think of it as your site's style blueprint. It controls the design layout, colors, fonts, and overall vibe. To change the theme of your website, Simply head over to Appearance, and then click on Themes. Now head over to View All, and then select Free. Now WordPress shows only free themes. Now choose a theme that fits your vision. Once you find a good theme for your website, click on it. Want a sneak peek at your theme? Click Preview to see it in action. You can even check how it looks on desktop, tablet, and phone to make sure it's perfect for every screen. Click on Activate. Now the theme is activated successfully. Now click here. You can see how your website looks now. Step 4. Customize your website. Now you need to customize your website to look more professional. For that, simply head over to Appearance and then click on Customize. Now here, you can customize your site title, logo, color, background, fonts, menus, and many more. First you need to give a name for your website. For that, simply click on site title. Now head over to the site title and type the name you want for your website. Next, add a tagline for your website. If you don't know how to make a tagline, simply head over to ChatGPT and then tell about your website and it will give you a tagline for your website. Time to add a site icon. Not sure what that is. It's the small image you see in browser tabs, bookmark bars, and within the WordPress mobile apps. Make sure it's square and at least 512 by 512 pixels for the best look. Now click on Select Site Icon. Then click on Select Files to upload your site icon on your website. Now choose a site icon from your device. Click on Select. Click on Crop Image. Congrats! Your site identity is now customized. To make changes on your website, simply click on Save Changes. Now click here and go back to Customize. Now click on Colors and Backgrounds. Here you can change your website background color and primary color. You can choose a color from the pre-made color palette. You can add a background pattern if you like. Click on Default to undo your changes and restore the original settings. Now click here and go back to Customize. Now click on Fonts. Now here you can change your website heading and base fonts. Click on Menus. Here, you can create a custom menu for your website's header and footer. Click Create New Menu and enter a name for your menu. Check the box for Primary Menu and hit Next. Now, it's time to add items to your menu. Click Add Items. Now here you can add custom links, pages, posts, categories, and tags. For now, let's keep it simple, just add pages and categories to your menu. Now click on Pages, and click on Home. Now you need to add two more new pages to the menu. One is the About Us page, 
and the second one is the Contact Us page. Select the item and change the position if you want. Now when you click on Categories, you can't add new categories from here. You can add new categories from the WordPress dashboard. So go to WordPress dashboard. Before you close this page, make sure you click on Save Changes. Now head over to the WordPress dashboard. Now go to Posts, and then click on Categories. Now here you can add new categories. I am going to add three new categories to my website. Once you're done, go back to the Customize page, and then go to Menus. Click on the menu that we just created. Now click Add Items. Click on Categories. Now add the category that you want to show on the header menu. Select the item and drag it, and drop it like this to make a drop-down menu. Now you have successfully customized your header menu. You can see here how it looks. Oops, my site title is a bit too long, and it's throwing off my header design. No worries, I'll have it fixed in just a few seconds. Okay, now it looks good. Now click here and go back to customize. Now click on content options to customize your post display. Here, you can show or hide post dates, categories, tags, and featured images. Just pick what works best for you. I'm sticking with the default settings because they already look great. I'll walk you through customizing the widget options a bit later. For now, click on Home Page Settings. This is where you decide what appears on your homepage. You can choose between your latest posts, shown in reverse chronological order, a static page, a fixed homepage with a separate blog page. If you go with a static homepage, you'll need to create two pages, one for the homepage and another for your blog posts. Pick the setup that works best for you. I'm keeping the default setting because it already looks great. Congrats, you've mastered customizing your site. Well, almost. The widget options are the only thing left. But don't worry, I'll walk you through those soon. Step 5. How to create a post. Now, let's dive into creating your first post. Head over to your WordPress dashboard. Next, navigate to Posts and click Add New Post. It's that simple. Let's get started. First, give your post a catchy title right here. Next, head over to Choose a Block and add a paragraph to start crafting your content. Want to add a link to your post? It's easy. Type or select the text you want to turn into a link. Click the link icon, paste the URL, and hit Submit. Done. Let's add an image to your post. Click anywhere you want to place the image, then type slash image. Now click on image. Now choose how to add your image. You can upload from your device. Select from the media library. Generate with AI. Or add via image URL. To upload from your device, click Upload, pick your image, and hit Open. And just like that, your post gets a visual upgrade. Time to add more depth to the post. Let's drop in a few more paragraphs. Let's spice up your post with a video. First type slash video. Now click on YouTube Embed. Now paste the YouTube video link here. And hit Embed. Boom. The video is now part of the post. Let's make your post stand out with a featured image. First, click on the Post tab, and then click on Set Featured Image, and then click on Media Library, and hit Upload Files. Click Select Files. Choose an image from your device, and hit Open. Finally, click Set Featured Image, and you're all set. Want to customize your post URL? It's super easy. Head over to Slug. This is where your post link lives. I've got a long and messy slug, so I'm making it shorter and more meaningful. Just click Edit and tweak the URL to your liking. Time to organize your post like a pro. Head over to Categories and add one if you'd like to keep things neatly sorted. Next, jump to Tags and throw in some relevant tags to make your post easier to find. You're all set. Let's make your post live. Head over to the Publish tab and click it. Hit Publish again to confirm. Boom! Your post is now live. Click here to check it out. Let's clean things up 
and make your site feel fresh. Head over to the dashboard. Go to All Posts and find the default post that came with the theme. Click Trash to remove it. Open the trash, then hit Delete Permanently. Now, I'll quickly add some posts to fill up the site and make it look complete. Let's give your About Us and Contact Us pages a personal touch. Go to Pages and click All Pages. Head to the About Us page and hit Edit. Want a sleek, pre-made design? Just click here, then go to Patterns, and then About Us. Pick a template you like, then customize the text and images to make it truly yours. Once you're done, click on Save. Time to polish up the Contact Us page. Head back to the dashboard and open the Contact Us page for editing. Click here to browse templates. Pick a template you like. Then tweak the text to fit your style. Once everything looks perfect, hit Save, and you're all set. Step 6. How to customize the footer of your website. Let's customize the footer and give your site a polished look. Head to the WordPress dashboard, navigate to Appearance, and then Customize. Click on Widgets to access the footer section. Your footer is split into three widget areas, ready for you to customize. Let's customize the first footer widget area and make it shine. Click on First Footer Widget Area. Now you can add text, media, design widgets, and more. I'm adding an About section, so I'll drop in a Heading and Paragraph widget. Select both widgets and group them for a clean look. Head to More Settings to tweak the font size if needed. Once you're happy with it, hit Save Changes. And done. Let's level up the footer by adding recent posts. Head back to the Footer Widget section. Click on Second Footer Widget Area. Time to showcase your latest content. Add a heading and the Latest Posts widget. Want to control how many posts appear? Go to More Settings and adjust the number. Tweak the font size if needed for a perfect look. Select both widgets and group them for a clean layout. Once everything looks great, hit Save Changes. Let's add some social flair to your footer. Head back to the Footer Widget section. Click on Third Footer Widget Area. Time to add social links. Add a heading and type Follow Me. Select Social Icons and add the platforms you want. Group Follow Me and your social icons for a sleek look. Now your footer is social ready. Let's add an image gallery to your footer. Add a heading and type Image Gallery. Select the Gallery widget and upload your favorite images. Group the heading and the gallery widget for a clean layout. Hit Save Changes. And just like that, your gallery is live. Congrats! You've successfully created a free WordPress website. Click here to preview your site and see your hard work in action. If you're happy with how it looks and ready to go live, click Launch Site. Select Skip Purchase. Click Keep This Plan. Your site will be live shortly. Want to check out the demo site we built in this tutorial? I've dropped the link below.
Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like to show some love, share it with anyone who might need it, drop a comment below with your questions or suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe for more awesome tutorials like this. See you in the next one.